Hello, Namaskar, Vanakkam. I hope all of you are doing well. I come to you from a different location, this one in Navi, Mumbai. 19th is the optional subject examination and among the different papers is that of computer applications. So in this video, I'm presenting tips that have been curated from different sources, chiefly tips, strategy tips and tricks given by senior computer applications teacher Sarita Aswal, ma'am. So extremely grateful and thankful to her. Let me first mention the two ground rules that are necessary for tasting success in the computer applications paper in which it is possible to score cent percent. So please do not settle for anything less than a cent percent score. Okay. The first rule is the use of logic. And the second one is an extension of the same rule. That is to say no to rote learning and therefore understanding concepts using logic. In fact, that has been the general SWS mantra, but nowhere it applies more than in any other paper than it is to the computer applications paper. So I do hope that that's a style you have adopted through this entire academic year. If you have done so, great. If you have not, then use the tips that I'm going to tell in this particular video in order to use the last 24 to 30 hours before the examination in the best possible way. As I said, these are tips given by a subject expert. Okay. Unlike your other papers, this paper is for 50 marks, but the time allotted is the same, which is one and a half hours, 90 minutes. You have section A of 10 marks, which is MCQs, while section B, you get six questions out of which you have to attempt four, four into 10, 40 marks. Okay. So the time management becomes more critical because you have to answer questions for 10 more marks while having the same amount of time as you had for history, civics, physics, chemistry, biology, etc. Invest more time. This is the first strategy tip given. Invest more time learning and practicing programming. Because section B, as I said, is of 40 marks. Your strength in programming will automatically fetch you marks in section A as well in the MCQ section. Now, as far as section B is concerned, focus more on the following models. And these instructions are based on the kind of mistakes many of you committed in the pre-board examinations or many of your seniors committed in the previous year board examination. First point. Linear search with integers and string in a 1D array. For example, searching for the position of an element in the given array. Point number two, linear search with two or more corresponding arrays. For example, search for a country name in the first array and printing corresponding capital or player name or area code present in the second array. Point number three, binary search with integers array, integer array in ascending or descending order. Four, string programs like palindrome, pigleton, counting number of words and spaces in a sentence using character wrapper class methods to count number of uh, letters, digits, space, etc. Frequency of a character in a given string. Point number five, if the logic of the programs that I have mentioned is clear to the students, they'll be able to get any of the other string programs. Okay. So all these aspects, you ensure that while you're doing your study on revision, you cover all this in an efficient manner. Write all the keywords in small case, for example, class, public, static, void, etc. But all inbuilt class names need to begin with the uppercase and all inbuilt methods start with the lowercase. Do not use space while writing identifiers like class name, method name, function name, variable name or predefined class or method names. Okay. All statements written within a class or a method must end with a semicolon. But do not put a semicolon after headers like class, function, loop, if, switch, etc. that are followed by flower brackets immediately. Now let's come after this very specific revision strategies and writing strategies. Let's come to the kind of exam day strategy that you need to adopt because as I said, 50 marks paper, but having the same 90 minutes time. Get the MCQs out of the way. That's important. Get the MCQs out of the way. Tackle them first with a fresh mind. Okay. 
read the options carefully and like it has said in the other papers use the elimination methods in method in case you find two or three options too close to each other or confusing in the reading time that you get choose the four questions that you would want to attempt which means reading the question very carefully to ensure that you know all aspects of the question because remember each question is for 10 marks each so it in that sense it is a jumbo question okay as I said be very clear you know all the aspects of the question point number four and this is important start writing your program from the leftmost corner this is what ma'am suggests from the leftmost corner of the answer sheet and continue using the left area of the sheet rather than shifting towards the right side and ending up with confusion as there will be no space to write clearly okay idly there won't be any time to attempt an extra question to those who would ask whether we should attempt an extra question given the fact that you are attempting a 50 marks question in the same 90 minutes idly you may not have time to do an extra question because if you compare it with your other subject papers you are actually having to attempt an extra extra question within the 50 marks right now you may not have the time so ma'am suggests that idly you should rather recheck your attempted questions so that you ensure that in a hurry you have not made any error because even if you make a mistake with a space a semicolon a comma etc you could possibly end up losing marks so you need to be very careful however however if you are really good with your time management and you manage to finish off your 50 marks paper and also your revision say by 12 15 or so obviously there is no fun in just sitting idle and doing nothing in that case you could attempt a an extra question and write extra question on top right that would be marked and your best of four would be taken into account right so i do hope that you found these suggestions and strategy tips given by subject expert useful all the best to you sws has been an integral part of your 2021-22 academic year journey both here as well as on the SWS app and we hope to continue to do what we do best and do things with our three mottos quality responsibility and trust these are our cornerstones and we kind of stay committed to these values these are values we cherish deeply okay uh, thank you very much and all the best to you tata bye, -bye.